I'm going back home for the first time in three years. <laughs> I cannot even like contain my excitement. Oh my God, so embarrassing. <laughs> I am going to Singapore. It has been almost three years, right? Yeah, almost three since I've been back. I haven't been back since like December of 2019 because of COVID, but my family is still there. I grew up in Singapore and I lived there for basically like 16 years. I actually leave tomorrow at 11 a.m. It's currently Thursday. It's like 3 p.m. right now. I still haven't packed, which is kind of stupid of me, but um oh well i'll get to it um but i wanted to take you guys with me to shop for some travel snacks and also give you guys like travel tips that have really helped me especially for like those long flights so let's get to it before going to the store i wanted to get a leg workout in so this was my go-to routine for leg days i'll write down on the screen everything that i do and this routine is just like easy for me now. It used to be a lot harder when I was first starting. Um, and I really just recommend if you are gonna try these out to just focus on balance. Then as like a quick cardio to end it, I did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. I like to go sideways as well, but yeah, fun little workout. Now let's talk travel snacks. But first had to put my hoodie on so I didn't look like a sweaty mess in a Whole Foods. For travel snack ideas, you can actually bring fresh fruit on the plane. My go-to healthy snack is popcorn. These are my two favorite flavors. Also protein bites. I also love cookies. You know, part of the healthy thing is to eat foods you actually like. Speaking of which, had to get my favorite chocolate. You can also get trail mix, dried fruit, and these are my favorite teas when I'm traveling. For supplements, I really recommend probiotics, magnesium, and vitamin B12. I like to bring snacks because getting ravenously hungry on a plane is just the worst feeling ever. Also packed some nuts. Here are all my supplements that I brought on the plane. Here's my little post-gym hodgepodge dinner. Tip number two is if you can, try to get accustomed to the time zone you're going into beforehand. So I woke up really early at 5 a.m. to go to the gym just so I could get used to the time difference a little bit. But that brings me to my next tip, which is try to get movement in before your flight if you can as well. So I went to the gym this morning and I did upper body, I did shoulders and back. And it's so funny, my biggest insecurity has always been my arms, but really strength training has made me feel confident in them because now I just focus on my ability and my strength. And I don't really care if my arms get bigger now. I'm like, hell yeah, they're getting stronger. Anyways, I do these until failure and then I hold myself and then also rep out a few assisted pull-ups. I still haven't gotten a full pull-up yet, which really bummed me out considering it feels like other people just progress so fast in the gym. But honestly, I'm comfortable now knowing that my body just needs more time and I'm slowly getting there. Also, I'm so much further than I ever been before. To really burn out my back, I'll do these body weight back exercises after doing my pull-ups and they look simple or they look kind of funny, but trust me, they really burn. And because I was really feeling it, I decided to do a little run sprint for a mile. Also, dancing while running has gotten me really into it. I just feel like I enjoy it a lot more and it makes me smile and I really don't like feel like I'm dying. Because <laughs> always the thought that goes in my head is, oh my god, I want to die, I want to stop. But anyways, it got really sweaty and it felt really good. We got to the airport early so we could go to the Amex lounge and have some breakfast. I really love the Amex lounge in the San Francisco airport. They had this huge breakfast buffet. I got an array of items. I really liked the sausages they had and the frittata. Also the coffee cake was pretty good. But this brings me to my next healthy travel tip is eat a really satisfying and fueling meal before your flight. I don't know, I just feel like this has really helped me because I hate getting on a plane and hating the plane food. So sometimes it just helps to eat a meal I really enjoy before getting on my long flight. I try to make all my meals balanced by eating fats, carbs, protein, and fiber. My next travel tip, which is actually one of my favorites, is to stretch before your flight and during, of course. But here's me looking a little crazy right at our gate doing a stretch. But you know what? It's so worth it. Even if you feel crazy in the airplane or at the airport, just do it. Like, trust me, your body will thank you. 
We got on the plane and I actually slept for a good three hours and then we had this lunch. I had the chicken steak, which was really moist and good. My boyfriend had the sweet and sour fish. Mine was honestly better. Also had this chocolate banana muffin, which was so good and moist. I really liked this. They also served some bread, which was honestly okay. It was kind of dry, so I just ate it with a lot of butter. And yeah, I stopped here because honoring my fullness and I ate the rest of the banana bread with butter. During the rest of the 16 hour flight, I had pineapple juice, these snacks, got a ramen bowl, which was so good. It was curry flavor and so spicy and delicious. For dinner, they served this pasta dish, which was okay. Nico got this chicken and rice dish, which was so good. And then the chocolate cake was so dense and moist. Ugh, amazing. And then we finally landed, yay! It feels so good being home. I brought my boyfriend with me actually, and this is his only second time in Singapore, so I'm excited to show him around. What? I think she forgets that I exist sometimes. And she's trying to carry three for a video when she could carry two. What did you say? Oh, no, nothing. No, no, nothing. <laughs> guys, this chick is too much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for the next few days because I will be posting everything I ate in Singapore and everything we end up doing. I'll see you guys next time.